In this video, I wanna walk you through how to launch and validate your first $16,000 AI offer. Um, this comes after we've had a lot of people applying who are just wanting to get started with AI. Um, we launched a partnership offer where we would be integrating AI systems uh, to help our partners scale. And then, you know, going to the markets they're in and actually validate their playbook so that we can eventually turn it into an app that we can sell at scale in that vertical. But uh, since we're getting a lot of people who are just wanting to pick their first niche, pick their first AI growth system that they can sell for a premium into different niches, I wanted to make this video as a, as a walkthrough as to, you know, what should you avoid if you want to be able to go and maybe your current situation is this actually. So you know that AI is the biggest platform shift, the biggest trend, and you know that if you miss it, you're probably gonna be missing one of the best wealth creation um, moments that will ever happen in our entire lifetime. This is bigger than the internet, this is bigger than the mobile platform shift, this is bigger than cloud, this is bigger than anything we've ever seen. Why? Because AI, the reason why it's so big is because it compounds with every other platform shift that existed before. Without mobiles, without the computing, uh, you know, the chips, without the cloud, without all these previous platform shifts, without the internet, AI would not be here. So it has almost like, it's compounding all the other platform shifts to become something that is bigger than we've ever seen, that we'll ever see, okay? So you understand that, right? But right now you're currently confused on what to sell, because everybody's saying like, oh my God, you can make a lot of money with this, but okay, but what should I be selling, right? And then the other confusion you have is, who should I sell to? Nobody told you they should actually start by focusing on a specific group of people, and now you maybe have an AI solution or an AI idea, but no one to sell it to, right? And then the biggest problem, even if you have all these figured out, you lack a system that prints high value deals for your AI company. Right? You don't have a way to generate lead flow, you don't have a way to generate attention, you don't have a way to generate sales calls, and you for sure don't know a way to convert and get prospects to see the value in your solution. Right, And what you'd like to achieve is what? The following. A validated market that is willing to spend high a lot of money into invest a lot of money into your solution. And you actually need an AI system that generally delivers results to the people you're selling it to. You know that there's still a gap in how perfect a lot of these AI solutions are. So you're, this maybe also keeps you from being more aggressive on acquisition, right? But you wanna get to solving that problem. And then once you have a validated market, a validated AI system that you can sell to businesses, you then want to have an automated AI growth infrastructure system funnel that generates you consistent uh, attention, leads, and sales calls for your business so you can actually turn it into a ten, fifty thousand dollar $50,000 a month uh, business uh, where you help other businesses integrate AI. Okay, if this is you, then please pay attention because um, what I'm about to walk you through is everything we've learned from launching a lot, a lot of AI companies. Let me explain. Uh, a client acquisition that IO, we essentially specialize in, I started this business in 2021. Uh, we started by building and releasing appointment setting growth infrastructures into people's businesses to help them just get a better positioning and get a system that scales their business without needing their input. And just in the last, I'll show you here, just in the last 12 months, we have almost a thousand deals that we've validated in a lot of different niches. We're in over 70 different markets. As you see here, we've, uh, we've generated uh, over, um, over $6 million for uh, our clients that we've been able to track. And you know these are deal size like from 3K to 15K to 5K. You also have others here um, in a lot of different verticals. So our job is literally validating a market, validating the right solution to sell, validate the right positioning that the market wants to hear, and then implement, build and release a growth infrastructure so that this business can scale without having, uh, being reliant on the entrepreneur, okay? So all of this is based on this data that we have, okay? And also data from, you know, booking a lot of sales calls for a lot of these AI companies that we're working with, right? Like I literally had to build a client book calls channel just to keep track of all the sales calls that we're booking. So this is based on the, all of that. Now, let me go into the actual uh, thing of how to actually launch and validate your first uh, $16,000 AI offer, right? Uh, I'm gonna kind of like use this uh, case study uh, from one of our clients. Uh, there are two co-founders, Wencher and Harold. They're actually from Montreal, but 
uh, we ended up getting them to get out of the Quebec market, but that's another story that we can go over another day. But check this out. Uh, instead of telling you what we do, I'm going to tell you what to avoid or what are the mistakes that we avoid. Um, the first mistake we tend to avoid is the following. Every single person is starting with an AI tool as the thing to sell. So a lot of these AI uh, gurus, people who are just building AI automations, a lot of these AI uh, workflows, they don't actually think like business builders, they think more like integrators, okay? So they tell you, master this skill of building a workflow on N8N or integrating this AI voice agent, and then you believe that that's valuable, so therefore you get married to the AI tool, okay? And then you go, and be like, okay, who can I, who, who wants this? When you do this, you end up picking any business client that may show interest. But the problem with this is that this ends up becoming custom work. Every single client that you get, you have to personalize, understand their business again and again and again. You have to figure out the integration, the CRM, how to use this uh, application for them. Well, this makes it so that like, if your business will never scale, you're just creating a job for yourself. And to be honest, a low paying job. For most people, what they don't understand is that integration, AI integration has become a commoditized skill. Anybody who's, still, who's currently, anybody who hasn't realized that building automations is a commoditized skill, I wanna show you this. I was doing this research for, uh, just to understand the rate at which commoditization is happening in AI. And I saw this guy who's implementing um, AI voice agent and chatbots on Fiverr for $44, right? Canadian too. It's like $30, $28 US or maybe 25, right? You can't make a living just selling automations, okay? So this is, this, once I saw this, I realized, okay, no more of this. So everything that we're doing for our clients is completely different. Uh, we don't start with AI. We generally start with finding the right market, figuring out the right gap to solve. So like what problem is keeping them from experiencing the growth they want? And then what are the AI systems that we can put together to then solve that gap? Okay. The reason why this works really well is because we pick markets that are willing to pay us a lot of money. Okay. We also have it be a productized system, meaning it's the same playbook as the same system that we plug and play into our clients, into their, into their businesses. So that means that if we pick HVAC as, a, as an industry and we, and we pick that market, we know that they're willing to spend $7,000, $9,000 for each system that we implement into their business, right? Now, this system solves the entire gap. It doesn't just solve uh, like content creation or like lead generation, right? So we know that they sell, that if, some, if we validate it with one HVAC business, any other HVAC business that we're gonna sell to, we don't need to recreate and repersonalize the actual system. This means that we charge a premium because we're solving more problems for them. And it's also scalable because it's the same product. It's the same productized service in a way it's the same system you build in this mark in this business and the same business in the next business, right? This allows you to scale really fast while you're still charging twelve thousand dollar US, sixteen thousand dollars Canadian. Okay? That's step number one. If you want to scale your AI company, you need to learn this. I'm not gonna go into deep into like the all that good stuff, but you can have a lot of videos on how to do this. I've made them, but you know, anyway, so that's step number one. This is step number one of what we do. The right market, what is their gap, and the right AI growth infrastructure to solve that gap. Now, the next thing, the next thing that a lot of people are making a mistake on is um, they don't understand how hard it is to sell people when no one knows you. <laughs> so many people think that they can just have an AI website, they can have like their AI solution created, they can create like a little VSL explaining what they are gonna to provide to businesses, do maybe a little bit of content here and there, do a little bit of cold outreach, a little bit of cold email, uh, and then they're like, oh yes, I'm gonna do a little bit of outreach and I'm gonna get my clients. Oh my God, only if you knew. It is so hard, it requires so much attention 
to be able to sell people. With money follows attention. You, if you don't have attention, a way to predictably generate attention, which means a predictable way to generate leads, you are low-key cooked. You're not going to make it out. You're not going to make it. It's just simply too hard. Okay? And if you're DMing people on Instagram, if you're DMing people on LinkedIn, cold emails, people are already up, like bombarded with that. Okay? For us, we prefer doing what? We like this paid ads growth funnel that is leveraging AI creatives to actually scale. Okay? Now, a lot of people are like, oh, but paid ads is expensive. Paid ads is so expensive. Well, let me guess. What if I told you that all the calls that we're booking here are all being booked with ads? No cold outreach. And this is coming from someone who literally made $8 million in my first, I would say, 24 months of my agency from building and releasing appointment setting teams in businesses. So I would love to place setters into companies, but I know that today you need so much attention and you need to get it predictably. And the old belief that paid ads is expensive, it's not expensive whatsoever. I'll give you an example. This is a client of ours who we launched his AI offer into uh, this market. We launched, I guess, on the 19th. Today we're what? The 24th, as I'm recording this. And on the second day, so he launched on the 19th, five leads came through and already one of the leads booked a call. 24 hours later, he had four booked calls. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to verify with the head of uh, media buying team, right? I was like, hey, how much are we spending on ads for this account? He said, only $500 a month. $500 a month, right? $16 a day. That's less than what you would spend to eat and put food on the table and be able to feed like yourself. $16 a day. So far, he spent $86, got five sales calls booked at $17 cost per booked call. And guess what? These are with qualified businesses because we're calling out businesses doing over $20,000 a month. And, you know, we had a pretty red flag because we're like, oh my God, this is costing us a few dollars per lead. Uh, and did we verified that, hey, there's no red flags in terms of show rate or fake leads. So these are actual qualified leads. So this, the, the old belief that paid ads is expensive is far, it's, it's, it's like, it's such a wrong belief, right? Especially if you're selling AI. If you know how to target people, if you know how to, how to attract them on paid ads, it's so easy. We have clients booking calls every single week, and they don't necessarily have uh, tens of thousands of dollars to spend on advertising every month. This is like 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks a month, 15, 000, 1,500 bucks a month. Just the same money that you would spend like buying, like buying shoes. Stop buying shoes for the next six months and invest in your business. Stop, stop investing your time. You're going to grow old before you make any money. So if anyone is telling you guys to still trade your time for money, stop that. Leverage AI. There is a reason why Meta is a trillion dollar company. The reason why Meta, Facebook, is worth that much money is because it's a valuable company that provides great leverage to entrepreneurs like us. We just give it, hey, here's $500. I want someone who can buy my thing. Can you please show them my offer? Okay, so that's step number one. We use paid ads to convert and generate uh, attention at a, an affordable cost. The next thing that a lot of people are making a mistake on is um, they're, they're, they just don't understand that they need to sell. Actually, let me explain. They're selling AI integration and people are not seeing value in their system, right? They're literally selling $20, $29 a month softwares. And when you go to a business and you say, hey, I'm going to integrate this $29 a month software, even if you don't say that it's $29 a month, like a voice agent or a chatbot, they can tell that like, okay, but what is, this, what is the software going to be do for me, even if I have it, right? What people aren't understanding is that businesses are looking for transformations. You want to sell an AI transformation. You don't want to sell the tools. Nobody cares about the tools. And how do you sell transformation? What you need to understand how to audit businesses. You need to understand how to find uh, bottlenecks, okay? And you need to find the KPIs that allow them, the KPIs and metrics that allow them to grow. You need to show them how your AI solutions, your AI 
applications put together allow them to go from a conversion rate or a show up rate that is this low to getting it to be great enough for them to be able to grow, okay? When we go to these businesses, the reason why they're giving us $16,000 is not because we're selling, oh, we're gonna place a voice agent. That's not the case. That's never the case. We're coming to them, we're like, hey, we're gonna take this these conversion rates in your business, okay? And we're gonna make it so that they we're gonna improve them by 2x or 3x right improve efficiency with this AI growth system right which is going to solve multiple layers for for because uh for multiple things to get for conversion rates to get better you need to solve for multiple things in a row right and then when you tell a business owner that's already making a million dollars five million dollars a year that you can improve a metric and get it to be 50 percent cheaper or have it happen twice as much you're literally telling them you can add an extra half a million dollars a year. Work a, a year, right? When you're telling a business that, hey, this growth AI growth system can add an extra 500K, an extra million dollars, an extra $5 million in the next 12 months, how easy is it to ask for $10,000? How easy is it to ask for $15,000? How easy is it to ask for 30 grand? It's not even 10% of the value that they're going to be getting, right? This is the thing that you guys need to understand. Making money with AI has actually nothing to do with AI. It has all to do with understanding how to build the business, how to find the right market, how to find the right gap to solve for that market. Then find a bunch of AI integrators, just tell them, hey, I wanna solve this problem for this business. We can help you guys find that, right? And then put a little bit of ads on, on the funnel, get attention, and then go to businesses and say, hey, you have all these bottlenecks in your business, uh, here's each AI mechanism that avoids this inefficiency in your business. If we could work to get you to go from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, we would add an extra half a million dollars. For us to implement the system is going to cost you $15,000 upfront, and then $3,000 a month plus a percentage of the net, net new revenue we add to your business. How does that sound? Every single person is going to want to buy AI when you position it that way because from just having the AI, it's going to save them so much money that the 10, 15 grand is going to feel like you're actually underpricing yourself. This is everything that we're doing for us to be able to uh, not just get consistent lead flow for uh, the offers, the AI offers that we're launching, but also go to businesses and get them to get them to pay 10 to 20K, right? 5 to 10K, 10 to 20 to 30K deals, right? This is the only way you're gonna charge a lot of money. So if you guys uh, want uh, some help with this, um, you know, I'd be happy to, um, to help you guys with our team. And um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you're, you, you, if you're watching this video and you've actually tried going at it with an AI offer into the market, you know that it's not as easy as most people are positioning it. And you actually need to realize that, oh, your actual problem right now is not AI. You need to literally take a break from AI and be like, oh, I actually need to learn how to build and scale a business. I need to learn how to scale an offer in any market that I go into. Okay. So, yeah, guys, um, hopefully this video makes sense. Um, and, uh, yeah, would love to work with any of you guys who is interested in launching an AI offer. As we have our incubator, we're, we're literally literally shipping these companies like 30 to 50 of them every single month okay and uh, we'd love to work with you because the more we help you validate the better our playbook gets so we win from helping you win and from the data we collect we literally can make it even easier for you to win because we have access to so much so many um so many markets and so many of these ai solutions that are working and that the market is resonating with so that's it let me know what you guys think and uh have a beautiful day Bye bye